Hello dear students, welcome back. In the first section of the continents we discussed about Asia, Africa. In the next section we discussed about North America, South America and Antarctica. Today we are going to discuss about the last two continents. We have seven continents and we are going to discuss about last two continents. They are Europe and Australia. Okay, see, Europe is very near to Asia. We are in Asia, isn't it? India is in Asia. So Europe is very near to Asia and in the west part of Asia. West means the left side. If Asia is here, Europe is in the west part of Asia, the left side of Asia. And it's almost forming a peninsula. peninsula. What is mean by peninsula, you know? Do you know island, the word island? What is island? If there is a piece of land, and it is completely filled with water, it's called an island. This piece of land which is completely filled with water is called island. Peninsula means it's a sub-island, means half of the portion will be filled with water, other half is not filled with water. So this is a peninsula. So as like that, Europe is a peninsula of Asia. As Asia is situated here, Europe is in the left side of Asia and the other portions of this Europe is completely filled with water and this portion here we have Asia in between Asia and Europe there is a mountain range going on a mountain range which is called Ural Mountains Ural Mountains which is going in between Asia and Europe and there were many civilizations, as I, as I told, in the case of North America or in the case of Asia, we have Arabian civilization. In the case of uh, last time we discussed about Antarctica or North and, North and South America, we discussed some of the civilizations, the Mayas, Incas, these are the civilizations. As like that, we have Greek civilization and some important civilizations in the Europe. This is not much important for you. So if it is, if we are feeling difficult in the case of civilization, just neglect that point. Don't be stuck in that point. Okay, you will study it in the later classes. In the sixth or seventh class, you will be studying more about civilization. So just neglect that point. Just understand, yes, Europe is very near to Asia. It is in the west part of Asia, and it is also known as a peninsula of Asia and the Ural Mountains, which separate. Asia and Europe. Okay, the next one about Australia. Australia is in the same time is a country and a continent. Australia is a continent which is situated in the southernmost part of the earth. South means down portion of the earth. We have, if this is the earth, we have a north and south pole, isn't it? So it's situated entirely in the south south southern hemisphere and it got the name down under it's more under so it got the name down under and australia is the smallest continent very small continent so it is it got the name smallest continent and it is an island continent i told you what is an island a piece of land which is completely filled with water in its boundaries they are called these are called island and australia is an island continent and australia is a continent with, which contains very uh, some of the small countries like papua new guinea timor such like countries also and even australia the continent australia consists of a country called australia okay this, uh, so australia the country is in australian continent itself and other small countries also in the Australian continent. So today we discussed about Europe and Australia. Europe is a peninsula of Asia and Ural Mountains that separate Asia and Europe. Next one, the Australia is the smallest and the island continent and it is situated in the southern hemisphere. It got the name down under because it is completely situated in the southern hemisphere. Okay, that's all for today. Read the portion from the textbook. Have a nice day. Okay.